Hello, I'm Dave Allison, an engineer here at Seagull. And today I'm going to show you how to manage the server I.O. in your data center from an iPad. So let's run the Seagull iPad app. First thing we do is log into an XMS server. The XMS server is our new version of the Seagull management system. Um, and the first thing it shows you is a, a complete view of your data center. On the left column, you'll see a set of physical servers. On the right column, you'll see a set of I.O. clouds. I.O. clouds are of two types, the uh, network and the storage. Network clouds connect to network resources, such as the internet, and storage clouds connect to storage resources, such as SAN disks. These uh, servers can be grouped into groups. Um, for example, here is an internet access group right here, which shows you which servers are connected to the internet. Groups can be created for any reason or any type of server. Um, each server then, you can see what it's connected to simply by tapping on the server and holding it for a second. You can see that this, for example, this server is connected to these two clouds. You can see for a cloud, you can see what, what servers are connected simply by tapping on that. If you're a data center manager and you are deploying a new set of servers, you, may, you will want to give those servers virtual I.O. resources. So assuming they're connected to the Seagull system, you can simply use this application to provide I.O. to those uh, on the fly and immediately. To do that, we have this concept of a template. A template is a way of grouping together I.O. resources in such a way that they can be applied to a server as a whole. For example, in this case, we have a web server template. Web server would have a couple of network connections, a couple of HBA connections, and they were connected to, to the, the appropriate clouds. The idea of this template is it can be used to apply to multiple servers, and uh, all of which will receive the appropriate I.O. resources. For example, I want to make the, a couple of these servers into a web server. So let's, if we find some that are not connected, say for example these two, we can simply select them, like so, and, and simply drag the web server template to the server, and immediately it will receive its I.O. For example, you click into the IBM One server and you can see it's got two NICs and two HBAs. From within the server detail view such as this, you can see the I.O. resources it has. You can also get a view of the performance of the server simply by popping up a couple of, gra a couple of speedometers. For this, you can see the overall speed in terms of network and storage speed. You can also see the speed of each NIC and HBA. You can also select the history graph and see what's happened in the last four minutes in terms of storage and network. So now we're going to show how to uh, deploy a new NIC to a server. So we were back at the uh, data center view. We'll select the server we want to deploy the NIC to. For example, uh, this one. This happens to be a Linux server. It's got two, uh, one NIC and one HBA at the moment. Say we want to deploy a new NIC connected to the internet to this server. All we have to do is select Add VNIC. Here we type in the name of the, uh, the VNIC. Internet. We can select some QoS settings. For example, we want to have uh, 100 meg uh, CIR. And we hit Done. We then take the NIC and we connect it to the appropriate cloud by drag and drop. Hit Done. And now we have a new NIC on the server. Um, which has access to the internet.